So Noah walked really close with God. He did. So when Noah was alive, there was a lot of bad things going on in the earth. You know, God created the earth. He gave all these wonderful things to Adam and Eve and their families. And it was beautiful. It was The animals were friendly, and everything was beautiful. But what eventually started happening? He made from the tree of knowledge and good and evil. Well, yes. And what happened after that? Did bad things start happening? Yeah. 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 Everyone turned evil. God would, many years later, God looked at the earth, and it had become wicked. Mm -hmm. And almost all the people were wicked on the earth. Except for Noah. Except for Noah. Many of the animals were mean, and the birds flew away. You couldn't come near the birds. I would love it. You ever been to one of those places where birds will come and sit on your, your arm? No. no. But do they do that very often? No. no, they're usually scared of you, right? So yeah. it'd be nice if we could I'm live in a place where, young. but birds were scared I'm of people. Here. Yeah, so the birds would fly away, and guess what? God wasn't happy with all everything that was happening on earth, and he said, I'm going to send a flood, mm -hmm. a flood of water to wash away all the wickedness and evil on the earth. Now, did these people know what a flood was? No. Had they? You know what? They had never even seen rain before. Can you believe that? Flood was just rain. They had never even seen rain, so they had no idea who that, what that was. Who's this? No. Who's that? That's Noah and his wife. Yeah. And did they walk with God? Yes. Yes. Noah lived with his wife, and every morning and evening, Noah talked with God. And God told Noah about the flood he was going to send to wash away the world's wickedness. And the water would be so deep. It would be so deep. It would cover the mountains. It would cover the tallest tree. So it would be in a boat. Huh? A boat. What? A boat? He said yes build an ark for the saving of all that will go into it. So he was going to save those people who believed in him, but he had to build an ark. Do you think that he knew what an ark was or a boat? Yeah. yeah. You think he yeah. did? No. Because they never had rain before. They never had a flood. They have never had to build a boat before. He had no idea. But did God trust, or did Noah trust in God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. He trusted in God. So, Noah got a bunch of people together and he started to build the ark because God told him how to build it and he had to follow God's directions. Build it long, build it wide, build it three stories high. So do you have stairs in your house? Yes. Yeah. You don't? Have you been to somebody's house that has stairs in it? Yeah. You go upstairs? Well, imagine yeah. two yeah. more stairs going up. I have, I have a stairs. Yeah? So three stories high. This was a tall, tall boat. There was going to be room for people to live in the boat. There was going to be room for the animals to live in the boat, the birds, and you had to have food too because you couldn't live on this boat without all the with food. He told it to build it with cypress wood and put um, daub it with pitch. And Noah drew a picture of the ark and he looked at it like a ship, like it was kind of like a ship, a big, big ship with a house above it. So God told him how to build it, and Noah followed his directions because Noah believed in God. Noah hired all these workmen to cut down the trees to help build the boat, and that was a lot of work, wasn't it? Do you know how long it took to build that boat? Here's a picture of that boat. 120 years. 120 years. Is that a long time? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know anybody 120 years old? No. I don't know anybody 120 years old.
date. So after 120 years, the boat was done. The boat was finally complete. And then what happened? What happened after the boat was done? Well, did Noah and go in? Who went in before Noah? Yes, out of the woods, out of the trees. A little boy maybe came running. He's like, oh my goodness, you should see what's happening. See what's coming, see what's coming. And what was coming down the road? And they just marched along, kind of like we marched to our song earlier. They all gently marched along, and they walked right into the boat. See, we got our animals walking right into the boat there. The birds came flying into the boat. Even the birds came flying into the boat. And remember, the animals and birds were scared of people. So who do you think was guiding them? Do you think there were angels maybe guiding them? And they, the member at the bottom, the top of the boat was the house, and the bottom of the boat was like a big ship, and there was rooms for all the animals in the bottom of that boat. <laughs> what? Taking care of it? Noah and his family. He had how many sons? Six. Six sons? He had three sons. And they were all married. So there were six people along with Noah and his wife. Because his three sons and their wife, right? So that's all who went on the boat. And then what happened? After they all got on the boat? There was a flood. Well, this door, remember this boat is huge. What happened with the door? Who closed the door? God. God closed the door. That's right, because it was a really heavy door, and no one was inside. He couldn't close it, so God closed the door. And could it be opened again? No, it was closed, because God would open it when it was time. So inside, Noah and his family waited, and all the animals waited, and they waited, and they waited. Do you think people outside were like, you're still because did it start raining right away? Yeah. No. Three weeks. Three weeks? It was how many days? 24 days. Seven? Seven days. Seven days, right. That's one week. One week. They waited seven days before it started raining. So they were in that boat with all those animals. Do you think they started saying, well, maybe we should keep believing God? Or do you think they still believed in God? Still believed in God.